you probably thinking your computer has been hacked. Maybe yes, maybe no. Let's find out. So guys, I'm on my Windows PC right now. I don't want to go in the debate of how hackers hack or what is Metaprito and how Metaprito works. Okay, I want to give you a solution of finding out if your computer has been hacked. It will take maximum 10 minutes of your time to find out if you are transmitting any data leakages from your computer to the internet. Alright, so in order to do that, all you have to do is just press Windows plus R and type CMD. It will open command prompt, okay, or you can also go and press start menu and just type command okay press command prompt and there you are so it will open the command prompt for you so and the command that you have to type in is nestat dash a n o now what is ano okay so forget about ano type question mark okay slash question mark so now this command will show us what exactly ano is all right so just press enter and go ahead go and go scroll up here we go now a it says display all connections and listening ports all right this is what i need and then i also need n which says display address and port numbers in numerical form that also i want and then i also need o which is display the owning process id associated with each connection now this o is very very important because i really need to know the process id all right so i will just uh, execute the command okay i'll just go press cls for you so now i'll go ahead and execute the same command next start dash a no okay i'll press enter which is nice net stat dash a no okay oh my god relax guys i know what you guys would be thinking so there's a long list but trust me you don't have to go through each one each line by line okay all you have to find out the process which are established here we go this is what you need to know that's all okay so you just ignore the listening ignore the listening or time wait just ignore those uh, now let me explain what exactly this um, this this information is. Uh, this is a protocol, okay, that your computer is using right now, and this is your you know source IP address, okay, your local computer IP address. This is the destination IP address, okay, and this is the status of the uh, connection, which whether it's established or not, okay. And this one, this this is the important one. This is called process ID, right? So with the, with the help of process ID, we'll be able to find whether our computer is sending any data to uh, external networks. Okay, so guys, all you have to do is just write down the connections, sending data from your local IP addresses to external IP addresses like internal IP addresses, okay? So in my case, let, check, check this out, 64, this is a public IP address, okay? And you, you just ignore these one because this is a local IP address, this is my computer IP address, and this is also accessing 172.16, this is my local network, okay? So this data is not going outside for sure. All you have to find out is your local IP address sending data to external IP addresses or public IP addresses uh, across the internet, all right? So just write down these process IDs, all right? In my case, I will just write down 4184, okay? And then I will also double check 8899. This is also uh, an internet IP address, okay? So now what I have to do is just go and press window R again, okay? And type T-A-S-K-M-G-R, which is task manager, okay? or you can just go ahead and click start menu and type TASK and you will see task manager there. So just click on task manager, okay? And now you have to find out the same process ID which looks suspicious to you, right? So you cannot see um, process ID right now. So just right click on status or anywhere. Just click on PID here. Now you'll be able to see PID, all right? Now first thing first, which is 4184, okay? So all you have to do is just scroll down and look for 4184. Here you go. This is a 4184. So you have to just right click on the process and go to the properties. And you have to find out two things. Click on digital signatures, okay? If you can find a digital signature, okay, then that's it. It means that the process is legit, all right? Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Because if someone installed a rat in your computer or someone is accessing it from PowerShell or meter previous session, all right, those process, they will not have a digital signatures okay so in, in in this case i have a digital signature uh, of this process svc host.exe 
so I don't have to worry about it. It's okay, it's fine. This is the location of the application. Okay, it's in the Windows and System 32. So this is basically a system file. Okay, so this is good. I don't have to worry about that one. And the next one I have to find out, which is um, 3888. Okay, so 3888 is here, which is AnyDesk. All right, so my AnyDesk is working. Uh, here we go. You can see here we are. This is my AnyDesk, which is working right now. And I'm pretty sure that AnyDesk is not, you know, sending any data right now. It's it just it's connected to the internet for sure. But anyway, you, what you can do is just click on the properties, and uh, just go for the digital signatures. You will have you will be able to see multiple signatures, digital signature, which means, you know, the, these these uh, applications are safe to use. Any application which are you know payloads or any application uh, that hackers installed in your computer, those applications they will not be having digital signature for sure. And then you can also check the security and check it out who has the permissions to access this uh, specific file or application. All right. If you see anything suspicious, like in my case, it's Vakas, and then of course Vakas system. This is me. So in case if you see any different names or something, then you have to take some action. And what action that would be? And that action would be right click on the problem properties and go to open file location all right and there is if this or any desk is a malicious software all you have to do is just kill the process id first for example in my case i will just kill this i'll just go ahead and end task all right and then i will just delete this application all right so guys this is how you will uh, find out if there is any malicious application running on your computer and this is how you will delete it if you will not end the process first you will not be able to delete that application for sure yeah and there is one more thing also uh, i'll show you guys here we are uh, in the process id if ever i mean ever you see powershell running in process id can you see powershell running in the taskbar or something no it's not and because this is my attacker machine all right i don't want to go in that detail trust me because it will be a uh, hell of an information to absorb okay so this is my this is this is the payload that i have generated uh, from my attacker machine to this machine this machine is actually compromised uh, with powershell okay i'm having windows metapretation session from my attacker machine which is called linux all right if ever you will see this win uh, windows powershell running in your process id you must close that you must end it as soon as you see it right so just go ahead and right click and and task that's it all right so guys uh, last but not least uh, always cross check your antivirus if it's enabled if it's disabled automatically or it get corrupted over the period of time you better be very very careful and ask assistance from any it expert okay so there you go guys this is how you will find out if there are any data breaches on your computer or someone is accessing your data over the internet if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel for so many other topics like ethical hacking cybersecurity, and tips and tricks like these my name is vikas khan signing off take care bye bye